What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on the upcoming the Air Jordan 11 Declare. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Let's get it. Watch me get that stripes like Adidas in my city. I ain't rich yet. Jump man, fan, keep the vans for the kickbacks. They don't understand I'm the man why I live at. Balls for the dreams, trying to keep my name. Before I get into these Air Jordan 11s, I just want to say, if this is your first time coming to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Wall of Dreams TV family. But if you are an OG to my channel, I just want to say welcome back. And I hope you guys and girls enjoy today's episode. But anyway, let's get into these upcoming, these Air Jordan 11s, man. Uh, I seen, well, you guys tagged me. In these leaked pictures, uh, when I want to say it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember. You know, y'all was like, feel me? Y'all was like, Wall of Dreams, drop a video on these 11s. Wall of Dreams, drop a video on these Jordan 11s. Wall of Dreams, drop a video on this, you know, boom, boom, boom. So, today is the day. I was going to let everybody get their videos out because I know uh, when we first seen pictures, everybody was going to flood YouTube. With these, with these videos. So, here's today. What? Three days later? Two days? No. Three days later? It's my time. It's my time, bro. Y'all know me. I keep it real. I keep it legit. I don't like to judge sneakers on a first leak picture. I can't do it. But these shits right here, bro. I don't, I don't like what Jordan Brand really doing when it come down to Air Jordan 11's holiday releases. But I don't think, I don't think it's the only Jordan 11 we getting because Jason Tatum put a picture up on his Snapchat. Well, it was a video on his Snapchat showing the cool gray 11's with a mesh upper. So. Hey, who knows? Who might get cool gray ladies? We don't know. We don't know. You know, we might get cool gray levels and these, but I did like the Bray release uh, last year. I think Jordan Brand was doing a good job, you know, bringing back the Concords, the Breads, but I didn't really like the little 82, you know, went like 82s and it went like 96 shits. Like, this shit was like, like, wow. I mean, I. I really understand them, like the history, you know, of their sneakers, of them sneakers, but we didn't need that, bro. I mean, it was it was good because Melo, you know, Melo had like a R red sneaker, like a R red Jordan 11, you know, years back, and now we have, you know, we finally got that Jordan red 11. We should have got that Jordan red 11. I mean, when we first seen Melo with that sneaker, we should have got that sneaker. Hands down. Look, it's like when we seen the damn mellow rocking the uh all red, it wasn't it wasn't the Toronto Bravo Force, but it was like all red Jordan Force, like this is like 2013, 2014. Uh a couple of months later we got that fuck well, I wanna say one year. No, it was a couple of months later we got that Toro Bravo Jordan 4. So I feel like we should have been got that all red Jordan 11. Uh, I seen a couple of people, a couple of people a while back with fakes, you know, before that sneaker even released, I seen a couple of people with, you know, if you're rocking them shits, but, you know, it was fake. But, uh, hey, that shit, hey, hey, that's tough. That's tough, bro. Hey, get out of your living, bro. But, I don't want to judge this nigga, you know, without seeing the, like, the full product. You know, I want to see, like, the finished product on this sneaker. So, uh, but from the first look, I mean, this, uh, this not, it's not. I see where they're going with the, with the little, um, with the Jordan on the, on the little, uh, upper, you know, by the laces. I get it because the, uh. Ain't the ain't the sample DOP um eleven tag that 
So I get, I understand they're trying to give us something new, like fresh, like they always do. But I feel like Jordan Brand always tries so fucking hard, bro. Like ever since my dog Frank left Jordan Brand, I mean the like Jordan, like Jordan releases been kind of whack, bro. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie. These 14s, these Jim Brand 14s, or Toro Brown 14s, is the first Jordan that I really been. Nine OG Jordans uh, colorway that I really been really excited about, you know, because this is like, that Jordan is, is hard. Everything else, you been coming out, you know, Black Cats is kind of like an OG colorway. Uh, cool Grays is kind of like an OG colorway. Well, kind of. It is an OG colorway. So, talk about new colorways, bro. Like the uh, Jim Red 14s. The uh, What else came out this year that I really... The Hat 6s is, is not a bad sneaker. It's just, I don't really... I don't... I want it, but I don't need it right now. You feel me? I can go back later and get that sneaker, but it's not a bad sneaker. But I'm not really excited about that sneaker. But these, man, I got to see these. In like, like, when these first leaked... But I forgot, I can't touch it. But when these first leaked, bro, um, I wasn't really oppressed about this sneaker until I seen when these first dropped. Like, when we first seen the official look, I'm like, it's not a bad sneaker, bro. You got, you got that good, you got that little glitter, patent leather. I mean, you got that good uh, leather upper. I mean, it's not a bad sneaker, bro. It's, it, it, like, this is really not a bad sneaker, but I didn't hate it, bro. Like, I didn't hate it. I mean, it took me time to get it because I wasn't really impressed about it at first. But when I seen, like, when I first seen them shits on feet, I'm like, damn, I really need that sneaker. Like, I need that shit. Like, I, I need them Jordan Levis. Now, they my bad luck sneakers, so. But I got to see these in, these with full effect before I even judge them. But for the pictures, man, I mean, they, they look... People saying they look whack, you know, they, they look like a, uh, somebody said they look like a fake, like a fake Jordan 11. I mean, it kind of do, but you got to understand, man, we're in a different wave now, bro. Like, um, I think, I think they should drop the Cool Grays and the Columbia's probably next year, probably. But after that, what we, what we got after that, bro? Like, OG, so... I feel like we we in a different a different wave now, bro. So uh, we gonna we gonna start you know saying shit like this, bro. So so Joy Levis, man, y'all coming down to on his last leg, bro. I mean, Joy Levis is not that hype sneaker anymore. I feel like Jordan One is the hype sneaker because Joy Levis they making so many fucking pairs around Christmas. Like Joy Levis, I went. Into my store at three o'clock, three o'clock p.m. Not eight, nigga, eight a.m. p.m. And D and like Brand Levens was still sitting in the back of the of the store. My cousin, he worked there around that time. He's like, bro, you, you need you need your size eight. I'm straight. I got two pair of braids from uh, two thousand what twelve? I think yeah, yeah, twenty twelve, twenty twelve, yeah, twenty twelve, no, twenty thirteen, twenty twelve. Some, you know, around that time, I got, I still got my, you know, breads. Two pairs, matter of fact. About to be three pairs because I'm about to cop the, uh, the, uh, last year breads, um, next weekend, probably. But, I'm good, y'all. I'm straight. Uh, Joy 11s, only really, Joy 11s I really want is the cool gray. It's all I need. If the cool gray 11s, I'm good. But, like, these, it's like, I gotta see these in, like, of, like I said, of the full effect and if I judge them. But from the pictures, from the first look, they look cool. They straight. I wouldn't buy them. I can't, hey, if I, if I see, if it, I feel like females don't look good with black. Females don't look good with black sneakers. I'm tripping. Like, it's just me. Like, they look trash with black sneakers, bro. I'm, I don't know. It's just me. But I know... Everybody who trashing these sneakers, it, it, they gonna y'all gonna be like the main one buying these shits when they come out around Christmas, hands down. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'm gonna get into more details when this show 
uh, about to drop, I want to say December, so I'm going to get in more detail um, on these sneakers. So, but if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Wall of Dreams TV family. I want to say thank y'all for watching another episode on the Wall of Dreams TV. I'm your host, Jalen Poulard, and before I go, I, I just want to say if you have a dream, never give up. Always, always, always trust your vision. Stay humble. Stay motivated, stay inspired, stay prayed up, and never give up. See y'all next time. Go.